Hello guys. Um, ever since the voiceover of my last video didn't work out, uh, I thought I may I make a quick video for you all that uh, don't speak German. Um, yeah, what to do with the leftover resin? Every one of us knows their problem, and we have uh, always some leftovers. And um, my idea was to pour it in one of those kitchen trivet things. Um, they, they, are, they have little square ones uh, where I live. They have the bigger ones. The difference in, in the size is almost like double. And the red one is much uh, shallower than the other one. Um, that's why I always use the, the gray one. Because they're smaller and you get more pieces off of it. So, but I'll use that too. In some future projects. The pour I made yesterday is this. I demolded it uh, in a second um, and show you how to separate uh, uh, them from each other. What I'm going to say uh, to you is that the heat from curing uh, the resin makes those, those oven trivets uh, lose their shape a little if you can see that right here let me zoom in right here they used to be really square like this one but they're not anymore so uh, you got to be uh, aware of that but they they so much alike that you still can use them so don't worry about that in a future video, I will uh, show you that uh, as well, how I keep the same distance when I put uh, my mosaics together. So, like I said in the other video, I have so many colors and these are literally just leftovers. I don't, I don't really do extra resin just to make uh, them little tiles they just leftovers so i poured this yesterday it's been about like 24 hours and they uh, hard enough to demold them so i just bend the mat and get the things out and you'll see some of them are still stuck together but there's no problem we got a scissor and we can just Cut them off, put them separately in, um, in that bin. You don't have to keep them uh, stuck together. So I take them all out. This might take a little while because they saw so many of them. And uh, that was the pour from yesterday where I uh, intentionally uh, mix up some resin just to show y'all what y'all can do with your leftovers. So most of them are really already separated because um, when I poured them yesterday I took one of my sticks and scraped the, the resin that was too much in those crevices um, across the mat so it will um, put itself in the other holes so you can have more stones if you like. You can make them as high as you want, as, as much uh, resin as the mold uh, holds. But um, I'd rather don't have them that uh, tall because um, I want to pour some resin over it and if uh, they too high. Uh, you need too much other resin to to uh, put a sealing coat on it. So, as you can see, I have them all separate, and and one 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 mat makes a lot of them. A lot. I mean, really a lot. I have uh, those things stuck together when if they don't uh, uh, separate it uh, them uh, when they when they don't separate themselves 
I just try to use my hands or a handy scissor while the resin isn't still as hard, as rock hard as it's supposed to be after a while. Um, it's just easy. You don't have to really do much. I guess if, if they uh, already cured 100%, you just can like break them, break them apart like that, you know, like that. But this isn't cured 100% yet. And that's why it won't be separating um, as quick if you just break them off. Okay, well, so this is for that. If you uh, pour into in those trivet mats, you gotta be careful because if you have pieces like this, let me just try to show you. If you have like pieces like this, they really have sharp edges. These are uh, some drops that been stuck in the in the uh, corners where you don't put um, when you didn't fill up all the uh, the crevices all the way. This happens, and you you gotta be careful because if you stay with your bare foot on it, uh, it just penetrates the skin and uh, it'll hurt. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Because one, one, one day uh, my mat fell on the floor and I didn't see it all uh, uh, right away. And I stepped into one of those suckers. <laughs> well, yeah, enough said. So these are the treasures from the leftovers. You know, you can make them sparkly, you can make them uh, opaque, you can make them see-through like I just did here. Um, whatever you have left, it makes perfect tiles. So, um, the things that I do with those tiles is, I made already one, well, I actually I made three, but one is an epic fail, I'll show you. Let me just zoom you out. So, this is the first one I made. It's a little box. My hubby uh, smokes cigars, so he has uh, every now and then a box like that. It's wooden, and I thought, why not do something like that with them little tiles? The main idea uh, was for me, because I have a table in my living room that isn't uh, that pretty anymore. Um, it has a wooden uh, plate on top, and I was thinking, hmm, what can I do with it? So, I was planning to decorate uh, this table with them little tiles and cover them in resin just like I did over here. Um, yeah. Well, this is the first try out. And you can see I have glitter in it. I have, well, there's no, mm, there's no with mica powder in it in there, but um yeah you just tape your edges with painters tape right here but you got to make sure that this the painters tape is sticking really good because if it's not sticking really good and you pour your clear resin on top of it the top coat is going to leak out this happens on that one right here you can see <laughs> the clear resin ran out of here and it went in the crack over here. So I had like literally uh, break the box apart to get it back open. So I don't know how to fix that yet, but I will because uh, all that resin and, and that, that, that nice um, finish of that box, I like it. So, and the last one I have that I, I already did up front um, because I wanted to make a video of uh, of me sealing this one is it's not finished yet and you can see the the ridges here are not filled yet with resin so I have to put the painters tape on it and I have to put a top coat on it but I will show in the next video 
how exactly I made this one. Okay. Um, what you can do to keep the spaces even and everything like that. And I I'm looking forward to, uh, to showing y'all. Then I had, um, then I was thinking, um, why should I limit myself to squares like that? You know, why? There's so many, so many uh, uh, things you can do with them, but they're limited to, they square. Um, at Amazon, they have those, those trivets with uh, little round shapes. So I'm gonna get me uh, some of those. But what I found on Amazon was this mold. It's uh, like for crushed ice, I guess, because the crevices are really, really small. And they like shaped like little hearts. So many little hearts, you know. I tried that out already with some uh, leftover resin, like I always do. <laughs> and let me just zoom a little in. So, and they are like literally little hearts. I don't know if y'all can see that, but they're so cute. You can do so much with those, like flowers, and you, you are not limited to square, uh, um, to square, um, how you say that, uh, designs anymore, you know, because this looks, um, designs with that, is it kind of look like Tetris, <laughs> and this is like more organic looking because it it's have, has uh, rounded edges and stuff like that. So this is about that. This must be a crushed ice mold. They 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 are not expensive. They like my I guess I paid like um like 12 euro or something like that for two, you know. And there's like over a hundred uh hearts in there. And the other thing is I color my resin in cups like this. This is the the pour from yesterday with all the uh, with all the um, purple uh, stones in it, and these are the the cups I just use for that. And y'all see those little uh, circles on the bottom? This is leftover resin also. Um, when it's all dry, I take this out, and I get something like this. I get something like this. Sometimes when you leave more than than uh, the circle, you get like filler ones like this one uh, or that one. I must have poured two times with that one because <laughs> it has two colors. Um, but other than that, I'll be having things like this. <laughs> In every color that, like you see, I have so many of them. You know, even uh, from the large container, I pour, uh, I stir my, my resin in, I have something like that. You know, and uh, I guess you can do something with it. Maybe you all have ideas what to do with it. Um, I haven't found something yet that sparked my mind. But, uh, yeah, maybe some of you want to leave a comment uh, with ideas. I would be grateful for that. So, um, I'm about to finish and uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to me and uh, checking out my ideas. Um, yo, thank you and I hope you'll be back from the next video. Bye!